got hit head on and we need the money. Dante Ferrando is among thousands of small venue owners still waiting on a federal grant to help his club through the pandemic. The black cat in the nation's capital has been forced to stay closed for more than a year now. It's almost impossible to make it out of this kind of situation without a big grant. The Small Business Administration just denied his application for a shuttered venue operator's grant, saying the club was on a do not pay list. We were panicking like crazy for a day. He figured out the SBA mixed up the Black Cat's tax ID number with the social security number of someone who was dead. We did find out slowly that there were more people on the do not pay list, some of which because they were also corporations that were dead. Because I rock a sap on Like other federal COVID relief programs we've been following, Errors are among problems tangling up the grant program for America's independent stages, among the hardest hit businesses in the pandemic. As of June 3rd, the SBA awarded grants to just 50 out of more than 13,000 applicants. Urgent aid approved by Congress back in December, not getting to independent theaters, concert halls, and museums. This is our lives. Steven Tyler has heard nothing about his application for $1.4 million for the Tower Theater in Oklahoma City. He's planning full concerts again, but not till August. We have an amazing future ahead of us, but like we might die. Like, we're still on the launch pad and, and the rocket might still blow up. The SBA has been under pressure to dole out money fast while avoiding the kind of fraud that targeted other COVID relief programs. Each of these applications is, a, is complex to review. We are feeling good about the program and, and our ability to start dispersing um, awards soon. It is freakish to me that you could be in a position where somebody is going to give you hundreds of thousands of dollars and you still resent them. They should have been able to do this differently. Ferrando is appealing his denial, still waiting for that check. Patrick Terpstra, Newsy, Washington.